Hey Pisces, this is for you. I did a Celtic cross. I shuffled and I laid it out already. And the first card that came out was the Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, this is your situation, your energy. Um, right now what I feel is like that you're basically struggling to move forward in something. Um, you don't have very much perseverance right now. You feel um, bogged down maybe. I feel like you're struggling pretty much. Like you, This is usually like, like the Wounded Warrior card, but with it being in reverse, it's like you're still in that Wounded Warrior mentality. You haven't arrived at the upright position yet. Um, obviously, I feel like you feel scattered into a million different pieces. I feel that in this energy, you really literally feel that um, you can't, you're just being pulled in so many directions. You really don't know what to do. Um, a lot of pressure is on you right now. Um, you're crossed by the Ace of Swords. That tells me that what you're worried about so much is that beginning something new, um, something that you know once you start it's going to be difficult or it's going to be challenging or it's going to be um, something that's going to initiate a change in your life and you are kind of hesitant to do it. That's where the block is coming from. You don't want to do it. That's why you're not moving forward. That's why you're stuck um, in the nine of wands reverse energy um, because that ace of swords there is blocking you and that's you're so scared to just um, step out and start whatever this process or this thing is uh, and it's got you in this mentality of being pulled in a bunch of different directions because you don't know what to do with that energy you're just sitting on that that dormant energy and you really don't know what to do with it um, and the third card what's in your head or what's you know above you um, is the justice so whatever this is you're in your head about making sure that it's fair. You want to achieve balance in the situation. It's all that you think about um, to the point where you may not be balanced, literally. Like you're, you're wanting this justice so bad for yourself or for the situation or for whatever it is that's right in the situation. You don't have to be justice per se. Um, some of you it is. But um, I think that in this situation, you're more or less wanting to um, make sure that everything is, is known from the get-go so that you're not walking in without knowing what to expect. And you want, you're, so you're in your head about it all the time, considering all options, um, all paths, all stories, all whatever you're dealing with. Um, and for what's below you, what the root cause of the problem is, is the Queen of Cups. So this is the person, um, and this is probably, this could definitely be you, you're crowning, you know, what's, what's your, what started this is something that you did. You started this yourself by loving something or someone as much as you possibly could. And I feel like, whatever it was that you loved, you loved it so much that, because in the past you pulled the, the magician, so you loved it so much that, you know, like you manifested this this thing in the past, and you thought that you would have everything you needed, but it caused nothing but a new problem, it was a new issue, um, and now you just want justice for the situation because you felt like you manifested something in, and it should have been what you wanted, and it wasn't, so it's like, why did, how did I manifest something that wasn't what I asked for? Um, and so I feel like sometimes you seek justice for that, but I don't really know with who, because you can't really do anything about it. Um, it is what it is. And, but in the future you have the Nine of Cups. So if you keep on this energy of getting the justice that you want, um, I feel like you feel like you will be at a Nine of Cups if you get the justice that you seek, that you want so much. Um, and then once you do that, I feel like you'll be able to move forward into the Ten of Cups, because you got the Ten of Cups for your energy then next. And that shows me that you literally feel that um, that that would complete you and give you everything you need. Once you have that self-love and that, that self-drive and that nine of cups, you'll be able to move straight up to the ten. And in your environment and the things around you, six of swords. So either you're leaving a situation or something behind um, that causes you pain and starting out something new, and that could be what this ace of swords is representing and it's blocking you. Um, you know, in your atmosphere and something that's going on around you, it's, it's someone leaving you or either you're leaving someone and it's causing you a lot of issue and a lot of pain. Um, and because your hopes and fears are the two of cups. Um, you want love, that's your hope, but your fear is that you're a choice in love, that, you, that you're just an option um, between one of two and you don't know what it's going to happen. And honestly, I pulled the moon for the outcome, so I can't even tell you what's going to happen. I can pull on that some more cards, and I will, but um, the moon literally came out for the last card, and that would be your projected outcome, and the moon is secret, so it's a secret that's not going to tell me, and I can, like, say and clarify, but it only says what it wants to say, and that, besides, you know, that, what are the chances the moon's going to come out right there in that position, so the fact that it did tells me that it's something that you're not ready to know yet, or either you'll know when the time is right, 
or either it's something you're going to have to go within yourself and, and gain that hidden knowledge and be wise to something that you're not seeing and that you, you need to really focus and, and pay attention and look and observe, gain a little bit of knowledge on the situation or subject, and then you'll know what you need to know. Let me see here. What the moon? I'm pulling a card. I have another deck. I just pulled the Ten of Cups again. Um, you started out in the row and entered the row of this row with Ten of Cups for both. So, basically, it's just telling me the same fucking thing. You're starting out, you'll feel like you'll have a Ten of Cups. When you're done, you're still going to feel like you have that Ten of Cups, but we still don't know anything more. You're still going to feel like that Ten of Cups, which is good, you're still in that energy. You fear being a choice, but something is leaving you behind, and it's okay because you know you're still going to have your Ten of Cups, but the thing is, you don't know how. You don't know how you're going to have your Ten of Cups. You just know that you will. Oh, shit, a bunch. Um, you just know that you will, um, and, and you're going to seek that somewhat. I don't know. That's what I think it's for you, so. Alright, Pisces. That's all I got, and I guess you guys have a good night. Talk to you later.